everybody! Alright, so let's get straight into the differences between wild rabbits and domestic rabbits. People often get these two mammals confused, but kind of like wolves and dogs, domestic rabbits and wild rabbits live totally distinct lives and are two completely different species. Let's also not get even more confused with jackrabbits who are actually not rabbits at all, but hares. Nonetheless, all of these mammals are members of the taxonomic order Lagomorpha, of which there are 87 species. So, while they are all distantly related, they are genetically different and can't even breed with one another. Let's start off with lifespan. Wild rabbits live an average of just two years, while domestic rabbits, when properly cared for and housed indoors, can live between 10 to 14 years. Physical Characteristics Most species of wild rabbit have a ticked brown coat, also called a guti, which allows them to blend into their surroundings and hide easily. Occasionally, the European rabbit can be found in a black, melanistic form as well. The American cottontail is also known for, well, their white fluffy tail, and sizes of wild rabbit can range from small to medium, with long slender legs and wedged shaped heads. Domestic rabbits come in a rainbow of fur colors with long or short fur, upright or floppy ears, and range in size from tiny, like the Netherland dwarf, to huge, like the Flemish giant, who can weigh up to 22 pounds. Their face shapes are a lot more round, docile, and some may even have blue eyes. Some domestic bunnies will have the agouti coloring of their cousins as well, but it doesn't make them wild. Think of a husky and a wolf looking similar. Sleep. Rabbits are inherently crepuscular, meaning most active at dawn and dusk. However, most domestic bunnies are totally capable of adjusting to a human schedule if trained to do so. Domestic bunnies will often sleep an average of 8.4 hours a day, whereas wild rabbits will sleep a fraction of that, considering they always have to be on alert mode for predators. Housing. Not all wild rabbits even house themselves the same way. European rabbits live in burrows underground called warrens, while cottontails nest above ground. Domestic rabbits live indoors with humans, and while they do have the ability to dig like their cousins, they don't know how to build complex burrowing systems. In fact, they don't have many survival skills and are completely dependent on humans for food, warmth, and shelter. Behavior Wild rabbits will be difficult to approach and are afraid of humans. On the other hand, domestic rabbits, while also a bit skittish, will often reciprocate human attention and affection and can develop very strong bonds with their human caretaker. Social Hierarchy Both the cottontail and hare are completely solitary animals. However, the European rabbit, from which our domestic breeds originate, do live together in large groups and form complex social structures. This is why you can often bond domestic rabbits together, although the fact that they are not born into an existing group can sometimes make it difficult for them to accept each other and work out a hierarchy between themselves. Established bonds can also break if the relationship changes for whatever reason. Speed Wild rabbits can reach speeds up to 45 miles per hour, typically for survival purposes. Domestic rabbits can probably reach speeds up to 30 miles per hour, but it would be a rare occasion to witness as most would rather chill out under the couch. Diet. Rabbits are herbivores, but daily meals differ. A wild rabbit will generally munch on clover, grass, wildflowers, or bark, in addition to grazing on farm or garden crops. Their domestic counterparts, however, need 24-hour access to fresh timothy or orchard hay, clean water, and fresh vegetables. High-quality pellets are optional, but are sometimes needed for mineral-deficient rabbits, such as babies or the elderly. Domestic bunnies might occasionally have access to trees and fruits that would otherwise be considered exotic to wild rabbits, such as banana. Finally, it is illegal in most places to keep a wild rabbit in captivity. Never remove babies from their nest either. If you encounter an injured wild rabbit, call your local wildlife center. And let us not forget to never release a domestic bunny into the wild. It'll be terrified and won't live for very long. If you need to rehome your rabbit, contact your local rescue or humane society for advice. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and also our new join button, which allows exclusive members to get extra perks on our channel for a subscription.